Yeah, Reno Amokri, you know, Islamic Bari again, and by saying, he says, if your repentant Boko Haram can't tell us where Leah Shaibu is, they haven't repented. Uh, Reno Amokri is, you know, accusing President Muhammadu Buhari, the former special, uh, special assistant to former President Goodluck Jonathan. Reno Amokri has written to President Muhammadu Buhari. You know, according to a tweet the, uh, he made this evening, he wrote, stating it clearly to President Buhari that if the repentant Boko Haram members have truly repented, he should tell uh, them to sell, uh, uh, to tell Nigerians where they have kept Lia Sharibu. Furthermore, he stated that uh, Nigerians still want to have her back. Whether she has babies or not, but on the contrary, if they can't disclose the place where Leah Sharibu is kept, it means that they haven't uh, repented. Uh, well, uh, concerning the tweet, it says, If your beloved repentant Boko Haram members are truly repentant, tell them to tell us where they have kept our Leah Sharibu. We still want her back. Whether or not she has babies for them, we still need her back. If they don't tell us, they have never repented and they are not repentant. That is a good one from Reno Mokri. I think these repentant Boko Haram members should tell uh, Nigerians the place where Leah Sharibu and others kidnapped Chibo girls are kept so that the Nigerian military will rescue them. I think that is a way to show Nigerians that they have truly repented. These children need to be rescued and by God's grace they will be rescued. Well, this is what uh, Reno Mokri has said and uh, is even generating you know, traffic online and let us know if uh, truly uh, uh, the Boko Haram have repented, the bandits have repented, uh, uh, if Buhari can really tell us, you know, or the Boko Haram who have repented where Lia Sharibu is and in other words, uh, the Boko Haram or the terrorists who have repented and they want to be reintegrated, where are the weapons they have been using to, you know, connote havoc in the land. Well, everybody is commenting, everybody is trying to know, you know, and buttress the point of Reno or Mercury. Mm. What of the arms and the ammunition in their possession? These people have a hidden agenda. Do you not say, I told you? Hmm. Okay, now that the Boko Haram, you know, repented, where, they, where are their arms? Because they are trying to reintegrate them into the uh, society. Well, according to Ndume, Ndume also said that no. Uh, if truly they have repented, they need to be prosecuted. Why will you still reintegrate them? Well, that will be a topic for another day. Well, let Mr. President swear by God that he doesn't know the whereabouts of Leah Sharibu. I will believe him. It is true, if someone repents, he or she will confess. Let them confess. It's even fearfully not that they want to enter or Swakapata. These people are devil. May God have mercy on us. Correct idea and a wise uh, counseling from a uh, Reno or Mokri. Both the repented and unrepented, the hardcore, the moderates, and their backers in government have a common interest against Christian and Christianity. To them, Leah Sharibu is a trophy that must be retained by all means. Well, mm, terrorists don't repent, they only re strategize under the guise of repentance. And the government is this deceptive strategy for obvious uh, reasons. Uh, well, that's the truth, sir. You are saying the uh, truth and the thing, you know, directly. Repentant Boko Haram, indeed. Buhari may not be interested because he might have given birth to one of Buhari's uh, associates. Well, I'm just laughing. I think that comes from good uh, reasonings. Uh, where is Leah Sharibu? More wisdom to you, Reno or Mokri. They are repenting in batches when they said they are sponsored are in Asso Rock. God will judge all of them. Reno, God will continue upgrading your knowledge. Amen. And more blessing to your effort. Yes, I support what he said and they should name their sponsors. Well, everybody in uh, on this have been supporting Reno Mokri. And nobody would have thought of Leah Sharibu and nobody would have thought of you know them you know dropping all their weapons because if you say someone someone is repentant or has repented he should confess and also should be interrogated and not you know reintegrate that's not the next thing to do that's no that's not the next thing to do by saying you want to rehabilitate a terrorist or Boko Haram into the society no 
uh, there should be an interrogation questioning and some other stuff according to what Renault Mokri has just said where Leah Sharibu is where is she yeah, yes, I support what he said, and they should name their sponsors also. Well, that is true, Reno. Islam is evil. Well, according to this person. Well, this person is saying Islam is not evil. It is the people practicing the religion that are evil uh, and uncivilized. Yes, that's another point. Because Islam itself, according to whoever is practicing Islam, they said Islam is a religion of peace. Well, the president knows every move made against Christians in Nigeria. He should stop pretending uh, uh, pretending he's not innocent very soon go we put uh, Buhari and his people uh, to shame nothing like repent Boko Haram it is a planned game from left right from back and center is the government concerned about Leah Sharibu again hmm. they are not even concerned well definitely they should be concerned because this uh, Boko Haram they are called terrorists or they are terrorists not even called terrorists they are terrorists and they have you know committed a whole lot of havoc you know destroying so many people destroying so many you know lives and then now they are telling us they have repented yes it's good to repent another thing is for the government or the people that captured them or they repented to to prosecute them they should face the consequence of their actions well i support the clarion call where is leah we the nigerians still need our beloved daughter back mr president tell your repentant brothers to tell nigerians where leah sharibu is we can't believe they are repented unless they provide leah and other chibok girls are those zombies armies ever interested to ask such uh, questions from them nothing concerns them about leah sharibu because leah sharibu is not among their errand food jihadist fighter she's not in their payroll yeah well if it's not in their payroll they should surrender the girl and drop the girl for the federal government because those are the things you know professional you know uh, 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 arrest or professional government will do all in the developed country if it were to us they will you know scrutinize them vividly and make sure they you know confess you know they will use them for interrogation not you know declaring them as unrepentant bandits and ready to be rehabilitated hmm well too much wisdom will not kill you sir mr reno omokri god will protect you Wari and his APC leaders knows everything happening in this country, but their time will end one day. Wari himself is a sponsor of all bad things in Nigeria. Well, his repentant terrorists are still keeping the secret of their about of their abducted victims, including Leah Sharibu. There was no repentance. Boko Haram was only rewarding his foot soldiers on a campaign of terror to fulanize and Islamize uh, the country. Mm, according to what this person said, Buhari himself is the sponsor. Uh, Professor Kunle, or Commander Kunle, the ex naval, uh, said that uh, the sponsors of Boko Haram are dwelling in Buhari's regime. They are either governments, uh, they are in the government, uh, uh, they are called governors, uh, the senators, but he's giving us assurance that they are in Buhari's uh, administration well i would like you to leave your comments in the comment section thanks for listening and god bless